What is going on fellas in today's book review we got emotional intelligence by james w williams now emotional intelligence is all about you know understanding how to deal with people's emotions and when they get upset or any other type of emotion when they're angry and how to deal with them no matter where you're at in life no matter how successful you are you're always gonna have to deal with people and their emotions every single person goes through some things in life whether it be you know someone that's close in their family died their pet died Everyone goes through some type of thing where it's like, you know, no matter how rich you are, you're still gonna have to deal with those problems. And then knowing how to deal with them on a personal level is completely, you know, you, you're you worth so much when you're able to do things like that. If you're a CEO or a leader and, you know, you own a small business and one of your employees, you know, that's overall the most positive person ever has an issue at their house, it's like, you don't have to know how to deal with the emotions. Not like, oh, get to work, do X, Y, and Z, and don't like do anything else. Don't be upset. Don't repressure or repress your emotions that people tell you to do and stuff and it's like that stuff's not gonna work you know you have to legit you know ask questions about how they're actually doing emphasize with the person understand them be someone to listen to when you're able to apply those skills to any area in life you're going to be worth so much more than anyone else because it's hard to deal with people especially customers most people understand how that works if you work any type of retail job or you haven't earned your own business you're going to run into problems people don't know how to handle their emotions and how to detach from them and like transmute them in other areas of life let's say you're angry do 20 push-ups use that energy towards something good rather than reacting right away lashing out regretting what you're going to say 20 minutes later so let's get straight into the notes we got emotional intelligence resolves around empathy and the ability to understand and manage your emotions managing emotions is about understanding the trigger that it caused a particular emotion and not responding to the trigger until you have time to fully understand what you're feeling and why so just like any other type of addiction a lot of times there's something where it triggers that same emotion that you could have experienced six years ago but that one trigger will set you back on the path right away that's why a lot of people you know they end up doing heroin over and over again because they have a trigger or their cigarette that they want to smoke because you know they fix so many things in their life but they still have that trigger in their life that they haven't been able to do it and fill it with something else so a lot of good example i guess would be the cigarette is if you're in the same environment and there's one thing that happens in that environment that you know usually happens that can be a trigger to you know then smoke again so if you don't change the environment the people you're around your whole living situation right now those small triggers are going to instantly get you back into that bad habit without even you thinking about it so being able to i guess more so change that environment and then understand what your triggers are write them down journal them out and then write what are you going to do instead of you know have that trigger happening causing you to do blank maybe that trigger happens and you take one deep breath that's one thing that works very well all of us can do it's calming helps everything and it's cheap free in there um and then not reacting on the emotion right away again if you're not most likely we're not kids and we know some people they're adults they're 50 years old trapped in a five-year-old's body still reacting to their emotions right away rather than taking in what is happening around them and then having a great logical outcome and say something that's you know thoughtful and not lashing out at someone like crazy um, another reason why people with high emotional intelligence and such valuable team members is that they are good listeners a trait most people lack when you listen to someone attentively you can hear things that the person cannot or will not say when you are attuned to someone you can easily pick up on subtle signs of fear irritation and anxiety from their body language facial expressions or tonality of voice all of which can sometimes be valuable to clue what the person may be going through again bro a lot of people they'll hide their first time impressions and you know they might put on makeup so you can't see their real face but you know let's say for example they eat bad food which you're probably going to have acne not look the greatest um you know you could be completely out of shape and only wear a sweatshirt and a hoodie and people wouldn't notice all these things people kind of hide you can tell especially with the uh when you're talking to people about with certain emotions if you're already very aware of how you feel and you're next to someone else you can kind of tell how they feel because if you're always chilling and then all of a sudden you feel good when you're around someone else it's it's them not you per se unless you're doing something that makes you feel good in general but and then if you feel bad around someone it's not yourself it's literally the other person um, and then listen to the tonality of voice. If their tone, if their tone of voice is like not matching their words, you know, they they like they're trying to the words they say don't match up with their tonality of voice at all. And the biggest one, I guess, would be facial expressions. So if they're saying one thing and then their body language, they're like telling you like something, trying to they're trying to tell you the truth or whatever. And then all the all of a sudden they have like their arms closed, their legs crossed, 
and you know they're not looking at you with their eyes it turns out that they're probably not telling the complete truth um and then when you actually listen to someone you give a hundred percent of your attention you're not playing with your phone you're not focused on anything else you're literally looking them in the eye and you try to understand everything they're saying without talking over them or letting them speak and completely open up people really like some people who listen you anyone can do it most people want to talk about themselves so it's very simple you sit there and you listen you don't say a word obviously you can do things like understand the person even better paraphrase what they're saying back to you so if the person's like yo my favorite color is blue just like the background it's like oh why is your favorite color blue oh it makes me feel good when i see it because some colors have some emotional effects on you ask deeper questions yo oh why do you drive that type of car oh I'm very into cars. This is like one of my hobbies. Oh, and then you can go and branch in more and more and more. When people talk about their hobbies, you're gonna see their eyes light up. They're gonna talk with enthusiasm. That's what they do, right? And that's how you make deeper bonds with people, understanding like, you know, them. Instead of being selfish and only like thinking and talking about you, open up, see things from the other person's point of view, give them your attention and try to understand to the base core of their problem. So I'm very good with that now. Uh, let's say for example, someone's anxious, it's like, oh, what's you can like see that they're kind of like shaking they're kind of like kind of freaking out a little bit it's like oh what's making you anxious oh it's my kids for example if someone has an adult, oh what about your kids makes you anxious oh they don't behave when i tell them to it's like when you get to that root cause of it a lot or a lot of times you can find people's solutions just by asking the questions deeper and deeper until you find the root of what's causing all of it and a lot of people they don't even know it themselves so you could actually help them out a lot with those different things Listen more, talk less. Again, a lot of people, they just talk to talk. And sometimes people can't even sit there in silence. They literally have to say something to make it not awkward. But if you just listen more and you talk less, you're going to be able to learn way more. You're going to appear way more powerful. You know, the, uh, what do you call it, that one quote? It's like, the less you say, the more profound and mysterious you appear. You know, because you say more words, your, your words become less valuable because you're saying more, right? If you have something that happens way less, you know, all of a sudden the value is going to go through the roof because there's way less of it. Don't judge or criticize. A lot of people, they criticize other people. You know, if they don't like some, someone's doing something, they literally say it to their face. When you listen to someone and you don't judge or criticize at all, it's like literally like one of the best things you can have in like a certain friendship where someone's trying to help you to the max and not doing anything bad, right? It took me a while to do that, and I saw some judge and criticize in my head, people, but I try not to. And over time, the more you become aware of, oh, let me not try to judge another person, let me not react because you don't, or criticize because you don't know exactly what that person's all been through. A lot of people, you know, if they have, they're being negative towards someone else, I'm bullying someone else, a lot of times they're getting bullied at their house, or there's someone that's doing something bad to them, and then that's just all they know, right? So you can feel empathy for people who are negative because you don't know what they're going through. Just how ignoring or repressing your emotions, it is bad for your health uh, for overreacting. Expressing emotions without any consideration for how they may affect others. So again, you can't just like say you don't like something about someone. It's probably not the greatest thing because you, uh, what do you call it? Or let's say someone makes you mad and then you tell them right away. It's like, yo, you're doing this and it's really making me like really mad. Um, you got to consider how the other people feel, right? Obviously, the older you get, the more you realize that, oh, what I, my words can actually affect how someone else feels. Maybe you don't know that until you become aware of it. And you're like, oh, now I don't want to say anything bad to anyone because I don't want to make them feel bad because I know what it's like. Um, those emotions, those expressed in a rush without thinking are like shooting without aiming. So if you express emotions without thinking about it, it's the same thing about, you know, shooting a gun aimlessly in the air. You can literally hit anything. Western culture people usually don't like silence and tend to answer questions or make comments without thinking or even worse. Believe that every silence has to be filled with witty comment or remark. I actually do like remarks and stuff. I think it's hilarious adding some like pop culture movie or TV show quote to a situation or acting it out with your tonality of voice, body language. I think it's just like funny in general. 10 benefits of having highly emotional intelligence. People enjoy walking or people enjoy working with you. People easily open up to you. That's one where it happens way faster. You don't judge or criticize. You're actually listening to someone 100% of your attention. You want to actually seek to understand them. People literally start to open up about every single thing in their life. And I think it's just kind of cool how some people 
you know, they don't open up to anyone and then a year goes by when you know them and they finally start to open up. It's just like cool. You're a master of your emotions in any situation. You can easily resolve conflicts. You become a leader. You can work anywhere with anyone. You easily get a high paying job. You don't do or say things you later regret. You are a valued friend and confident. You are fulfilled. Although being humble is not easy in society, which encourages competition and individuality, ability to openly admit your limitations and mistakes and traits of a true leader. Now, humility and showing a weakness, a lot of times all the things we think are bad are actually good. When you show an insecurity about yourself, you're literally one kind of opening up to another person for them to do the same. And then it's like everyone has insecurities and flaws. When you show someone else those, you appear more human and everyone can relate because you know we all don't always have positive thoughts and positive emotions. A lot of it is we all go through the negative, but then when you realize, oh, everyone else has two, it makes it way easier when you suffer together. Seven ways to raise your emotional intelligence, develop self-awareness, journal, and write out your problems to find the root. That's one thing that's really helped for me. I haven't necessarily done that with everything yet, even though I probably should, but as soon as I started writing more, bro, even you can do it with typing too, but writing, I think, is one of the best. It's like, you can kind of brainstorm from it. So you're like, oh, just like with finding the root cause of things, you write down, oh, what's making me mad? What can I do to fix this? What is the root to my problem? What is another solution to this problem? And then you just get, you know, you find answers to all the problems you have. Understand your emotions and what triggers them. Listen without judgment. Engage. Do you really believe that if you ignore your negative feelings, something to make you feel high will eventually become happy, confident, and fearless. No, dude, you cannot re repress any of your emotions. You have to at least deal with them and be aware of them rather than, you know, just keep throwing them in your closet and closing the door. Um, and then if you think trying anything in the external, if you try, you know, say for example, you keep getting angry at one thing, instead of fixing that problem, you just keep trying to transmutate it into something else. You can keep doing that, but there's gonna probably going to be a point in time where one out of 10 times you're going to be angry and then you're going to do something bad. If you get rid of the root cause that's causing your issue, that's so, it's not going to eat into your subconscious and you're not going to worry about that emotion anymore. A lot of times you feel certain worries because you are going to keep feeling that way until you fix the root cause of it. Um, develop self-management and learn to deal with criticism. Criticism is great. A lot of people call it a gift and a blessing because you get to learn from other people, especially... I like all my friends now, they criticize me and they're not doing it to put me down. They're doing it to help me. So true friends, they'll actually criticize you and tell you what you need to do and what you don't need to do. But a lot of people, especially teenagers, they all want to be like, oh, I want to do it my way. No other way. They don't want to listen to anyone else. When you learn so much more from everyone else, um, you know, you can only be so good at one thing. You know, Michael Jordan might be one of the greatest at basketball, right? So he's probably not that great at business. He's probably not that great at real estate. He's probably not that good at you know, a lot of other things in life, right? So if you find someone who's a master in an area, work with them for a few hours or a few days, learn everything you can from them because they already made, they already went through all the mistakes and been doing it for so long. They could tell you every way how to do it fast as possible with the best results. And you keep doing that in every single area of life. So take criticism from those people who are doing it their whole life because they know exactly what to do. And yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That was emotional intelligence. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Other than that, it's your boy. Have a good day and peace out.